I'm Sharon Redrow. I'm a vet. I'm the head vet at Bristol Zoo Gardens. There's no such thing as a typical day, which is what keeps it interesting. So I can just get a phone call in the morning and go and see a, a six foot snake that's got pneumonia and the next minute a gorilla that's hurt its foot and the next minute a fish isn't swimming right, well I go and have a look. So the working as a zoo vet thing really keeps it varied. So this guy's um, at least 80 years old, probably about 120, which isn't elderly for these guys. Um, he's been at Bristol Zoo for a long time and you can see he's quite used to people. We can bleed these tortoises like we can the smaller ones, so um, we take blood from the, the big jugular vein here and he usually lets us do that. So he's had health checks, blood samples, x-rays. Um, he had pneumonia once a few years ago, quite a few years ago, which um, we treated him for and he got over. We just like the affection, don't we? The conservation angle is what really makes it more important and more interesting for me. Most of the animals we're working with are rare or endangered or very important and so we have to preserve their breeding and look into their diets, keep them as healthy as possible and it's looking for the bigger picture all the time. Some of the animals I look after are extinct in the wild, there are several of those species and so they are very important and then working with wild animals as well. Sometimes we've got to dart the animals because they won't take the medication in the feed and we can't hand inject them because it's too dangerous. So we use a dart gun, which is one of the fun parts of the job. The power can be changed to be quite gentle, so it's almost like a hand injection, or we can turn the power right up and it can go 30 or 40 metres if the animal's far away to inject it with an anaesthetic, for instance. I'm able to travel with the job. I've been to Cameroon a couple of times to see our uh, rehabilitation unit for chimps and gorillas and work with those and teach the, the Cameroonian vets over there the things that we do um, in Europe and share experiences which is very interesting and important. I've been to Indonesia last year working with uh, some bird work for bird flu and then teaching at the vet school in Jakarta and that was interesting. Going into conservation is one of the important uh, and interesting ways of using that qualification. You don't have to pigeonhole yourself too early about being a dog or a cat or, or a cow vet. But conservation is a very interesting use of those skills. These are Asian lions, which are very different from African lions. So obviously they come from Asia, they come from a, a forest in India. There's only 350 left in the whole planet. So we're hoping to increase the numbers over the next few years by releasing some zoo animals. The best part is probably the variety and the intellectual stimulation. I've really got to think about what I'm doing and not just the, the health and vet issues, but how the animal integrates with the rest of the group, whether it can be isolated or not, whether it's going to be used for breeding or not. But some of the easy answers we would do if it was a pet aren't available to us as a zoo vet. So I have to think a bit more and the conservation angle is very interesting. <laughs>